Welcome to Sunshine Stories. Today we'll be reading Fox and Crow Are Not Friends by Melissa Wiley, illustrated by Sebastian Brown. Fox and Crow Are Not Friends. Chapter One, A Nice Bit of Cheese. Fox and Crow did not like each other one bit. You might have heard about their very first fight. It started over a piece of cheese. Crow found it first. She flew to a tree to eat it. Fox spotted the big hunk of cheese. He loved a nice bit of cheese. Crow was about to gulp it down. Fox had to act fast. Hello, Crow, he called. How are you on this fine day? Crow did not answer. Fox tried again. How fine you look up there in that tree. Your feathers shine in the sun. You make the sky look more blue. What a lovely bird you are. Crow was pleased. She gave her wings a proud flap. Still, she did not answer. Fox tried again. I bet your song is as fine as your feathers. I would love to hear you sing. Crow could not resist. She opened her beak and sang, caw, caw, caw. The cheese tumbled down. It fell right into Fox's mouth. He gobbled it up, lickety split. He licked his lips and laughed. Crow glared at Fox. You had better watch out, Fox. She said, you may be a sly fox, but crows are very smart. You took my cheese, I will get even with you. You don't scare me, crow, said fox. Crow dived at fox, but fox ran into the bushes. From that day on, fox and crow were enemies. Chapter two, a good smell is hard to find. Crow had a plan. The plan needed three things, a piece of string, a piece of cheese, and a good smell. The string was easy to find. Crow tied one end to a tree. She looped the other end and placed it on the ground. The cheese was harder to find. Crow put the cheese inside the loop of string. She hid the string under the leaves. Now all she needed was a good smell, but that was the hardest part. Crow could not carry a smell. She saw some fish frying in a pan over the fire, but that was not a smell she could carry. She saw a skunk spraying her perfume. Crow could carry that smell, but she did not want to. She flew away fast. Then Crow found a very good smell. She spied three bowls of stew. The smell of stew would be perfect for Crow's plan, but she could not carry a bowl. The only way to carry stew Crow thought, is to wear it. The stew in the big bowl was too hot. The stew in the middle bowl was too cold. The stew in the little bowl was just right. Crow could wear that stew. She poured it right over her head. It ran all over her feathers. Crow flew past Fox's den. The good smell flew with her. Fox sniffed. <sniffs> the smell made his mouth water. Fox came out of his den. Crow flew from tree to tree, leading him along. Fox did not see her. He was following the good smell. Crow led Fox to the cheese and the hidden loop of string. When Fox saw cheese instead of stew, he was surprised. But Fox liked cheese even better than he liked stew. He could not wait to gobble it up. Crow pulled on the string. 
The loop closed tight around Fox's paw. He was trapped. Crow flew down and Fox flew up. Fox yelled. Crow laughed and laughed. Fox dropped the cheese right into Crow's open beak. Delicious, she said. Thank you, Fox, for that tasty snack. I do love a nice bit of cheese. Fox shook his paw in the air. I'll get even with you, Crow, he shouted. No one out foxes a fox. That was the second fight. The third fight was even worse. Chapter three, revenge is a dish best served with cheese. Fox fumed. He did not like flying up in the air. He did not like losing. He did not like Crow. He plotted a way to get even with her. For his plan, he needed three things. A scarecrow, a piece of cheese, and a bird cage. Step one was easy. There was a scarecrow in the cornfield. Step two was a little harder. He did not know where Crow kept finding all that cheese. He looked in burrows and nests and dens. Finally, he found a nice piece of cheese in a little cabin. Fox found some wood and built a cage. Fox's plan was perfect. He went to the cornfield. He hid the bird cage in a haystack. He hid himself in the scarecrow's clothes. He held out the cheese and waited. Soon along came Crow. She spotted the cheese in the scarecrow's hand. Crow landed on the scarecrow's hand. Just as she took the cheese in her beak, the scarecrow's hand closed on her leg. I've got you now, Crow. I told you I would get even with you, cried Fox. Crow could not get away. Fox shoved Crow into the bird cage and locked it tight. He grabbed the cheese from Crow's beak. He was about to gobble it up when a net fell over both Fox and Crow. Help, yelled Fox. Help, yelled Crow. I've got you now, Fox and Crow, said Mama Bear. That will teach you not to steal my cheese. Fox and Crow looked at each other. They were both sly, they were both smart, but they were not as sly or smart as Mama Bear. Fox and Crow are still enemies, but now they do not fight each other. They have to work together, making cheese for Mama Bear. The end.